Dennis is a retired herpetologist, naturalist, and biologist, and he is a native of Burke County, North Carolina. He developed a deep appreciation and love of nature, especially animals, at the age of four. Inspired and encouraged by his fourth grade teacher to collect rocks and minerals, Dennis became a rock hound in 1958, often searching plowed fields near his house and during visits to friends and relatives for crystals and Native American artifacts. It wasn't until after his family moved to Mitchell County in 1961 that he was able to pursue his love of nature. When he wasn't in school, he was searching for and collecting rocks, minerals, and small critters, especially amphibians and reptiles. For a decade, starting in 1961, Dennis lived just a few miles west of Spruce Pine. And for those 10 years, he was able to find all kinds of cool minerals because he just lived a few miles from several mica and felspar mines that were really close by. He was finding things like almondine garnet single crystals, clusters, muscovite, felspar, and all kinds of rare earth minerals, uranium minerals, uh, radioactive torbonite. At one prospect, he even found yellow to greenish yellow beryl, and beryl is his favorite mineral. And just to name a few of the Mitchell County mines he was going to, the Crabtree Emerald Mine, the Chalk Mountain Mine, the Hoppus Mine, the Bigger Staff Branch Mine, Chestnut Flat Mine. So then Dennis goes to college, he gets himself a biology degree, and then he lands himself a job at the Atlanta Zoo for 24 years, where he was a keeper and assistant curator of herpetology. Then in 96, he moves back to North Carolina to work for the state, as the coordinator of living collections for the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. Then in 2004, he left the museum to work for the North Carolina Department of Transportation as an environmental program consultant with the Biological Survey Group. What's the, it's from Hiddenite, Let me which is it. part of the old wrist mine, uh, not the wrist mine, the, uh, yeah, the old wrist mine. Right. And, all right. The wrist mine originally, back in, you know, the early 1900s, it was, I forget how many acres, but when Jamie bought a portion of it, it was just a part of the old wrist mine. Right. And he actually bought a part where the emeralds had been found at the wrist mine and others. Then uh, uh, Gilbert and Wooten, whatever, the, you know, the, these right. two guys that collected there, they bought a portion of it. Emerald Hollow is another portion of the old wrist mine property. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, Gilbert and Wooten, or Wooten Gilbert, uh, their mine, they, they found a lot of emeralds. They found hidden night. They found some nice, you know, the same stuff that, that's found there. So that specimen's from the Gilbert Wooten mine, the uh, old wrist uh, mine complex. But I liked it because it has one little rutile area, but I like that mica crystal that's sticking yeah. out of it. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's, I've been looking for some Amazonite because all the Amazonite that I used to find, I gave away because I, I said, this stuff's. But you know, there's only like four mines that's known from in North Carolina. Right, and I used to have it. It's right across the road from my house, and I used to collect it. And I'd give it away to, you know, cousins and, and people. And I'd never had a specimen. Yeah. So, yeah, North Carolina Amazonite's pretty rare. And I, that was up at a shop in Spruce Mine. I went to my 50th high school reunion up there. And I stopped up one of the gym shops, and I knew the owner who collected stuff. And mm -hmm. he had that, and he had... Uh, what was the other thing I got from it? Oh, it was the, uh, oh, this, that piece of Thulite. Climbing oh, thulite. yeah. Oh, that is a nice, that's, Where that's probably my best piece. Oh, this one? Yeah, that one's okay. from Chalk Mountain Mine. The one on the right is from Chalk Mountain, too. And you can see it's Clino, uh, Zoisite and Clino Thulite, yeah. which is a variety. So you can see that it's bluish uh -huh. where the Zoisite is, and then Oh, yeah. That's nice. I call it the North Carolina Pod Parasha, the orange curved sapphire that I found at the Holbrook mine when I used to do a lot of ruby mining up there in Cali Valley. Okay. Probes mine pieces? Yeah. And then last year I got that piece and Run them in Edenite, uh, Chunky Gal. Which piece? Run them. This Eden. one? Yeah. I just got that one. Fuchsite. That, that's just solid fuchsite. 
And this is the corundum that has some fuchsite still attached. Nice. Yeah, and this is an old piece. This that's is a pretty piece in the of the fuchsite. Sixties. And while you're in there, you might want to get those plates to the left there, with that barrel sticking out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, Hanson it's from Creek. The, the Henson Creek Aquamarine mine, Henson or the Vance Black mine. But I like that because I like mica with inclusions. And this one up here, this one's really nice. That one is um, Cleveland County. All that root tail going all yeah. the way through it all. That's Unfortunately, crazy. Unfortunately, it's got a, the tip's not perfect. It's just chipped. That was collected by um, Terry Ledford. The, uh, Teddy Ledford, the father, you know, the patriarch of the Ledford clan. Yeah. Kesar? Yeah, Kesar. It's this, uh, it's actually in extreme northern um, Cleveland County, right across the Burke County line. Okay. So that whole area is just, you know, was just known, had a lot of mica mines, and it's known for its quartz varieties and, and um, other things, barrel, um, also, not far from there, when you go down a little bit further to Lattimore, and that's where you pick up the mica crystals from. Y Yates Brook. Yates Brook. Yeah. Yeah. That's from the uh, Hidden, Gilbert uh, Wooten uh, mine, uh, also. Yeah, yeah he right. had several of those. You uh, can't there. hardly beat that. I know. That's That's got it all, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a beautiful root hill, and I've got another one that I didn't want to display them both up there. I'm, you know, I had to kind of pick and choose, because see, I've got my overrun stuff <laughs> down here. I mean, here's a fairly nice one from Caswell County, and I don't have it displayed. Yeah, that's nice. So, floater. Black terminally. Well, I've looked at it. And this lot. is a piece from um, Caldwell County that I found when I was doing work with DOT, and I had to be walking along with this old road cut with red clay everywhere, and I said, and I've seen mica schist and stuff, and I said, there's gotta be something around here. And I walked up and there was that, and I found the, the, the creek and washed it off and had that nice spray of tourmaline crystals on it. So whoever the previous owner was, I think it was Duke Power, they were planting white pines. And white pines are real short, but where they disturbed up the soil, there's a lot of sand and all from the creek and what eroded down from these mountains. And I started finding these Feldspar crystals, and I collected about eight of them. These? And that's the only one I have left. Okay. Yeah, I gave them away, and I gave some to other people. Wow. The epidote, mm -hmm. and those are all bite crystals, the whitish crystals. All right. And down on the lower side, you can't really see them from this view, are apophyllite crystals, or prunite crystals. Yeah. Okay. When I was in high school in 1965, that uh, when the DOT was redoing the road between Spruce Pine and Bakersville to take the curves out. Oh yeah, I ride a, right across Snow Hill there near Lebanon, <laughs> and they hit these veins of minerals. When the word got out, all the mineral collectors in the area, the old time mineral collectors in Spruce Pine, and then the, uh, what's it called, the S Southern Mountain Mineral Society or whatever, you know, Sam's, you know, they took field trips up there. DOT shut the project down for two weeks. That's so right. people could yeah. come up here and remove all the material they could wow. get. They only gave two weeks. So, I, and I remember that, and I didn't get a chance to get out there, you know, to do any collecting, <laughs> but I saw really nice specimens. So I'd never had any specimens from that deposit. And then uh, when I would stop at a shop in Spruce Pine last year when I was up there, he had this one and some other specimens, and I pulled this one out, and it's heavy, and it's sharp. It <laughs> got my fingers, you know. And I pulled it out, took it to the counter, you know. I mean, is this from this old Snow Hill deposit? He said, yep, you know your minerals. And they said, and his wife, or daughter, the wife, I think, you're a Herman boy, you lived out there in this time. I said, yep. He said, I remember you and your brothers, you know. And I remember <laughs> you collected minerals. And she said, uh, and he said, yep, that's from that deposit. So I said, how much you want for it? And he gave me a price, and I said, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> these are all those new specimens here. And these are from, um, well, it just said Spruce Pine, Mitchell County. But they're probably looking at them, and I'm sure most of the mineral people would say that's probably from the Clarence Foster, Clarence, um, the 
Clarence Wilson farm over near Bakersfield in Mitchell County. Because I've got This is you said this is your most yeah that one yeah specimen. Uh, when I was with the Tar Hill Club I borrowed the Geiger counter and I brought them brought it home and carried got all these pieces and I tested them. and that one was the one that the hottest the most. one yeah and what was all in it it's um it's got certolite which is a variety of zircon mm -hmm. it's got clarkeite and it's got uraninite and then it's got these other uranium alteration minerals in it. The he, some of the best for appetite, those real purple ones, were from his old collection that he collected a lot. That's what, this is from that, uh, from Jack, Jack Eaker. That's, that's one of his specimens that he collected. Right. I've heard that name. Yeah. There. Yeah, that's probably This is the one that uh, is from the Henson Creek Aquamine mine. Garnets were found there, and a lot of these black type garnets. And that one was really neat, and nice, it's heavy. Well formed. You can feel it. Yeah, this is one of those yeah. dodectahedrons. It's just really nice. This is another one from, from there, but that one's a little redder. Oh, so this is also from the yeah, same place? Yeah, it's from the same place in Well, a lot that's interesting. What's interesting to this one is look at that root tip, Chris. Wow. <laughs> Huge. Nice. Is there amethyst on this too? No, it's just, it's, it's, just, it's just the elastial. It's mud included. Smoky elastial. And that was from... Wrist mine. Wrist mine. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Dennis, thank you very much well, for showing us your collection. Thank you. I'm glad you You're a great made host. it up here. And, thank you. Uh, maybe sometime if you do get to the Emerald Mine, let me know and I can uh, meet you up there or something. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Good seeing you again. Yeah. Thanks you for the care. specimens. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm.